2295 aka TMP2295 uh, right now I'm going to be showing you how to make a bass drop for a breakdown that you hear in a lot of the that you hear a lot in middle song. I would give you an example, but I don't want this video to get copyrighted, so I'll just give you an example. I'll just show you what I'm, you know, talking about. Uh, it's literally. Uh, sorry again for the well for the first time I said yet, but yeah. Um, sorry for the bad audio. I'm using my laptop uh, mic. All right. So, what uh, what a bass drop is is right before it gets into the just. Dun, 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 you know, or whatever, however it goes, all you'll hear is just a <clears throat> or something like that, you know. And it's just a really low bass, and it just low, and it just gets lower and lower in pitch. And sometimes it'll get really distorted, and it'll just distort everything. And sometimes all you'll hear is just just that bass, and that's it. And they're just lower in pitch. So what I'm gonna do now, what you need. Is two things, free loops and Audacity. If you don't have Audacity, you could also use Cubase, but Audacity is free, so I'd go with that. If you don't have free loops, you're gonna have to get it. it I, don't, I don't know how. If you want to get a crack version or whatever, I don't even care. That's that's your uh, mission. But yeah, so you know, open up free loops first. All right, let that open up. Alright, so now that Fruity Loops is open up, what you want to do is go to Channels, Add One, and go down to 3x OSC, the Oscillators, and make sure it's set on Sine Wave, which is the default setting, so you really don't have to do anything there. Alright, so what this does is, it, is it's um, all like a synthy kind of sound. See, if you notice, the lower you go. So you got a really good bassy sound. But what you want to do to make it sound a little bit better, oscillator number one, course tune that, course tune that down to about negative twelve. Course tune number two, oscillator number two, down to about negative twenty-four. Number three, just leave it the same. Number one, fine tune it to about negative eight to twelve, anywhere in between there. I'll just do number. I'll just do ten. Uh, number two, fine tune that to about 12, 14, you know, anywhere there. Okay, now if you listen, you hear it gives it a really, really, a little bit, full, a little bit fuller sound. And it, or give it even more full, of, even fuller, I guess you could say, sound. Stereo detune it down to about negative eight. Alright. That pan, it'll pan it, which sounds really good. And now, if you listen to the bass, all right. So, what you want to do now is rename it if you want, because I actually save these once I do them. So, space. Change the color if you want. I'll just change it to red. All right, now assign it to a free mixer track. Now it'll drop it into this slot for some reason. I mean, I don't know. Get it out of there. Okay, from here, open up the sequencer. Okay, right-click this, send it to the piano roll. Now, what you want to do is you want to choose a really bassy note, which is down between C3, C3 and C4. So, we'll start at we'll start at C. Uh, okay, so what you want to do here, you want to try and pick the the Okay, one thing I forgot to mention. The tempo is right here instead of 140. This is good for if you're making dub sets, perfect tempos. A lot of it is a lot of dub sets are set at that. But you might want to set it to the tempo of your song. 
depending on how long you want that drop to be, depending on how long you want the, the drop to last. So what you want to do now, since you got this, I'll start out here. You might want to try and start at a uh, uh, like the same chord as that the power chord start of like the same note that the power chord starts at. You know, it'll probably blend in a little better. I'm just doing this because you know you don't want to go too low, or else it just you can't hear anything. Okay, so we're gonna exit out of that now. Okay, so after you did that, uh, all right. Okay, add this. Playlist here. Okay, this is all the way to the end. So now, if you listen to the song, you have just a constant D. Okay, so once you did that, go down to the step sequencer again. Now, this time, left click it to open up the channel again. Go to the pitch and create an automation clip. Alright, take it out there. Right, the playlist. What this is going to do is going to change the pitch. If you grab this little dot right here and bring it up, what that's going to do is it'll make the pitch go higher. So, alright, and same thing applies, you know, same rules apply when you go down. But if you go down all the way, you won't hear it. Just see, it cuts out like halfway. So what you want to do, you want to point it just a little bit, alright, out here. Maybe a little higher than that. That's good. Okay, so now that you have that, go back to the mixer. And if you don't like how bassy that is still, alright. Go to the effects slot, make sure it's selected. Okay, select. Where are you at? Alright, fruity bass boost. Okay, now I just crank both these all the way up. Okay, S. There you go, here's the difference. So without this, now with the bass boost. the difference. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. Now, what you want to do, you can mess around with the mixing levels right here, so try and see how good we can get this without it being all distorted. like we can put it all the way up. Okay, now we're going to exit out of here. Now what you want to do from here is you could add one of two things. A hip hop kick, which I'm not really a fan of in bass drops. Oh, okay. Right here. You know, it'll give it that punch. That's what you want to do is give it that punch. Now, what I do, I actually use a real drum kick sound. And I'll use number two because it's nice and muffled and it has a really good bass to it. So let me play that. I'm actually okay. So you can hear that's really, really, really bassy. Okay. So now what you want to do once you have all that finished. Go up here, and you know I'll save this actually because I like this job. So I'm gonna pause this. All you do is file, save as, save it where you want to. All right, so here I'll help you through this one if you don't know. Okay, save as. Okay, bass drop, metal song. Two. All right, let's save it. Now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna export it. I'm going to export it as an mp3, you can, MP3, you can export it as an mp3 or wave in order to put it into Audacity. I'm going to do it as a, I'm going to export it as a wave file. So, export it. Alright. It'll put it 
projects. So save. All right. You can the output formats. I actually put them in bold sometimes. This one I'll just put it in a wave format. All right. Yeah, my bad. Uh, forgot that this only records up to ten minutes uh, unless I get the full version, which I don't want. Okay. So uh, back to what I was saying. Just get everything so it's set up exactly how I have it. And I will get back to you when I'm in Audacity. Okay, so I'm back. Alright, now we're going to open up Audacity. Okay, so what we're going to do now import audio. This is Famosa, this is my brother's old band. We're probably gonna continue it next year. That's the sign up. Okay. So this is a song I wanna add the bass drop to. So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna import it. Alright. Here it is. Right here is the section that I want the bass drop to be in. Alright, so as you hear that. Alright, so that's where I want the bass drop to be. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to import that bass drop that we made. So, uh, let's arrange the keys. We're gonna zoom in. Zoom, up. zoom in some more. A little bit more. Okay. As you can see, right here, this little spike right there. That's where the drop, or not the drop, the breakdown begins. So, move this over. Move this over just a hair right about there so that the two highest points on the wave meet. So now when we play this So again, this is one of those distorted where it kind of makes the audio But see, I want that to be a little bit dirtier I think than that. So Alright, we're going to go to view or nope, not yet. I'm gonna give it some more time. Yeah. Okay. Play it. Yeah. yeah, my computer glitched for a second there. Sorry about that. <sighs> Again, this thing froze up a lot of times. Okay. So what I was doing, you mix a board and literally just keep on tweaking it. If you want it even more distorted or less distorted. If you want it more distorted, raise this up. If you want less, you know, tweak it however you want. That's really what I was trying to show you guys. So right now I got it set to about 4.5. Well, actually we had 4.5 I guess. Now let's play it. Yeah, that's way too, way too much. I mean, depending on how much you like, I mean, that might be the perfect amount of bass drop. Again, it's all your personal preference. That's all I really want to show you guys. Um, hope the tutorial helps. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, not only to this channel, but my other channel, TMP2295. Uh, I'll go to my other channel to see covers. I got a new vocal cover I just put up, like, Two days ago, three days ago, or something like that. So I declare goddess vocal cover. Uh, tell me what you think, and uh, that's about it. So see you guys later. If you guys want any more tutorials, let me know. All right, bye.